also, we're going to put your hands together. Put your hands together for Johnny Jello, everybody. Let's hear it. Oh. Good to see that everybody's awake after that turkey nap, right? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. I love taking uh, Thanksgiving turkey naps. I always like it the day after, though. You know, I always like making one of those turkey, jelly, cheese, and potato sandwiches the day after. It really knocks you out. <laughs> but it really sucks when the more furniture for less person comes up and says, Sir? <laughs> Sir? What? Been sleeping for over an hour. All right, fine, fuck. I go away and see if I have any, buy anything from you bastards again. <laughs> By the way, I had day left over devil day, so good luck getting that smell out of there. <laughs> Everybody have a good Black Friday? You get some good deals out there? Black Friday is the one day that all the Karens unite, all the white Karens unite. <laughs> Yeah, last year during the pandemic, they couldn't do that shit. This year, they're like, no, we're going for Mega Karen this year. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and trust me, they're going for the door busters. They're going for all of them. They got coupons from competitors. That's right. You better honor those deals. She'll air fry your ass all the way to corporate. <laughs> trust me. Something else they like to pick on is like, you know, Mackenzie shows a little too much jawbone. Wear your mask right. Come on now. Come on, Karen. Calm down, okay? That's a 45 minute conversation about, well, my girlfriend's husband from Pinterest, he recently died. It's like, well, I don't think Mackenzie's mask filled with snot and freaking. <laughs> I screwed that joke up. I'm sorry, hey, everybody. <laughs> filled with snot and pretzel dust is really killing, you know, Karen's friend's husband, right? I mean, it's not happening that way. But she's going to do it, she's going to do it. And then the other thing she's going to complain about is when you run out of free samples. And what she's going to ask for? A rain check. No! We don't have any of those anymore. For those under 40, rain is what happens sometimes in Arizona, about twice a year. And a rain check is the shit you get when it comes back into stock. So I've worked way too many retails to know the difference. Thank God I'm out of it. But uh, we had a good family Thanksgiving, and, you know, my... My wife likes to post pictures online of our son. He's three years old, being all cute. And you know, he was in the refrigerator digging for all the Thanksgiving extras, you know, today. And I'm just not impressed. I mean, yeah, okay, he can open the fridge by himself. He can grab a chair. He can put it in front. He can reach the higher levels. So everybody on the internet's like, oh, he's so cute. He's so adorable. You guys did so well. Meanwhile, my comment was like, sweet, now he can grab me the beer. <laughs> My comment got more likes than his actual photo, so <laughs> that's father of your shit right there. But I told my wife, I said, look, I'm not really impressed. You know what I'd be impressed with? If he goes outside and puts up the fucking Christmas decorations, <laughs> okay? That's what I'd be impressed with. I'm talking about the second level eaves of the house, too. Oh, no, we're not we're gonna pull out that stretch ladder. That's what we're talking about. My wife and I recently uh, celebrated seven years of marriage. Yeah. Yeah, she's not here, so you don't have to clap any louder, don't worry. <laughs> but you know, last year it kind of sucked during the pandemic. We had to get creative, but this year we actually got to go out to restaurants. And I was like, man, I'm going to go all out for this one. So I made reservations at IHOP. <laughs> no, 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 I don't fuck around. When it's unlimited pancakes, you make reservations, okay? <laughs> we ain't like royalty. We shut that place down. But Johnny, isn't IHOP 24-7? Not when you run out of pancake batter, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit. But, uh, yeah, I like to consider myself a professional fat guy. You know, I like to wear dark clothing. And, you know, it's not really for a slimming effect because, I mean, let's be honest, but uh, I like it because it hides all my food stains. Like, it'll be that Wow, that oil stain's actually not even showing up with the theater lights. That's impressive. <laughs> my three-year-old eats neater than I do, so that tells you a little bit of something. But it was good. And, you know, guys, we like to spend money on our women, right? Especially after a pandemic. It's been a pain in the ass, right? We like to spend a little dough, right? So she's like... <gasps> Did you get me something special for our anniversary? I said I sure did. Right in the driveway, there's a Ford F-150 with a full tank of gas, baby. 
Because not for nothing but gas, nowadays, it's higher than Snoop Dogg. <laughs> no, seriously. There was an interview with him, and he, they were like, what do you think about the gas prices? He's like, ah, damn. <laughs> All right, guys, God bless you guys for coming out and supporting comedy. My name is Johnny Jones.